Hi guys, Sergey here from iCafe Sweden. I want to show you how it's look inside the master uh, motherboard enclosure. So first you have some gasket. I think it's kind of uh, water protection and shock proof. Shock protection, probably. Better than nothing. No ceiling <coughs> around. It's pretty straightforward. <coughs> Display on the top with some some protection against shortage between between electronics. Some guys on the had problem with uh, the display doesn't lighten up. I don't know what it can be. <coughs> it's the first board in uh, 134 volt architecture. Yeah. You see? You can easily to remove the motor cables. But look how complicated it is. It's so many wires here. First some MOSFET wires with uh, with huge condensators on it. I remove this battery of the show you close. Compared to <coughs> EX20 or any other hundred volt uh, boards that has hundred sixty volt condensators on it. Six hundred eighty microfarad. Here you have 200 volt, 680 millifarad. From 160 to 200 volt, difference is huge. Huge condensators. I would like to make this 26 bigger. You see how small. Condensator uh, connections are. It's really messy. All the board, you know, it's like four different different levers. One, two, three, four. Small one. Another one. It should be a DC board, I guess. It will be difficult, it's very, very difficult to waterproof this one. It has some kind of water protection, but please do not, not rely on it that much. The most annoying thing it's you know, when you have that much different components, something can go wrong. It's enough that just some, some cable from, from backlight, whatever, from LEDs or speakers, whatever, can just shortage your motherboard. That's why I like my ghost. I build ghost. It's only essentials. It's only battery motherboard and the motor that I care about. Skip everything else. If you are about safety, about performance, if you about racing and to challenge, challenge your wheel, keep it simple for your safety.